Good morning, modern steaders. We're on the GoPro this morning. It's raining out pretty good. <sighs> the rain gauge says we haven't gotten any rain today. I think it's broken or it's jammed. Cause look at all the puddles. <sighs> My guess is we've got an inch of rain overnight last night so far. Gonna see if we can repair the rain gauge and see what the issue is with that, but. We don't need this rain. You girls ready? I don't think you'll come out today. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Yeah. We'll feed you right there. Hope gets right in there. She'll push them right out of her way. She's fitting in good. They're all just trying to figure out the pecking order. What we'll do, hold on. There, and then we'll give some willow. Willow. Hey. There. Break that up a little bit. Have to bring down another bale this morning at some point. That made feeding a little quieter, huh? Hey Willow, you come back here. Come on. You go up there. There you go. <laughs> Until we got all this rain last night, everything was starting to dry out. I hope this isn't a sign of what the summer's gonna be like. I'll bring down some more hay in a little bit, Hope. The goat from Arizona likes being outside when it's raining out. Wonder how the water level's doing in the rainwater collection system for the pasture pig mobile. Oh, look at that. Right up top, guys. <sighs> yeah, she's full. Now we need to build our wall around our piping. Well, that's how much rain we've gotten overnight. With my calculations, it takes about an inch to an inch and a half of rain for the 55 gallon drum on the pasture pig mobile to fill up completely. We got a lot of water last night. <sighs> Just when we thought it was starting to dry out. You ladies wanna come out? We said, yep, let us out of here. I'm gonna put some feed out. I'm not gonna put it all outside. I put the rest in the coop. Oh, I already got three eggs. I'm gonna bring out some more oyster shells and seaweed. They love their supplements. Moose. It's nice seeing the pasture green up. Is 
Is it a little wet for you outside, Figaro? You coming in? Come on. No. We put two. Uh, uh, we put three of the eggs we hatched out in here. We have two copper morons and the gray one back there. That is an olive egg layer. They're doing awesome. That's one of the cop black copper morans, black copper morans, and the olive egg layer is hiding back in the corner. What do you think of them, Pluto, huh? We'll have to check the incubator in a little bit and see if any more of the chicks hatched out. Figure, are you cozy? Are you cozy? You're spoiled cat. Hope you're comfy. We're out hard working and you're out over here taking a snooze. Yeah, you don't care? Okay. He doesn't care. No, he doesn't care. No. No, he doesn't care. <clears throat> I've been wanting to get some gravel down to the goat pen area, but with the road bands being on, I can't get a load of gravel in. What a road band is, is they post our roads during the mud season, our main road out here. So no load, no truck with a load limit over six tons can travel on it. So we can't get any big equipment or dirt or construction material brought in right now. So having a truckload of gravel is not an option, but I had another right here. I saw Lowe's had a really good sale on marble rock in the bag load. So I figured, hey, let's get some of that and we'll bring that down to the barn. Oh, this cat was outside hunting rabbits all night long. He's exhausted. Did you pull an all night a Figaro? I noticed the front half of the truck from the rocks forward is loaded with water. Oh, I wonder how many inches. All right, half inch. One and a half inches. Almost two inches of rain. Oh.
a hot mess, Al. What a mess. What I've never the heck? seen it this bad down here before. I don't know why all of a sudden this year. Never done this before. Look at the front. It's oh my gosh. Look at that. How are you going to get that out? Causing a problem? Trying to fix a problem? Yep. What the heck? What the heck? Oh well. They'll appreciate it. Right, guys? Girls? They will. <laughs> there was the rock they had on sale, though, white marble. Probably because nobody wants that around here. Right. Who's going to record me falling in? <laughs> I'm hoping I can at least get a pathway for the goats to get to the feeder and back. Right. See if I can get this stuff slow. The rain's coming again. Yep. Uh, gotta hurry up, huh? <laughs> well, or be wet. Right. You probably need to leave that stream right here going. Yeah. Well. Is this GoPro waterproof? Yep. Well, that's good. That's why we got the GoPro up today. Oh gosh, that was almost falling in. get unstuck. Here goes nothing. Let's see if we can get unstuck to get stuck again. Here you go again. Here we go. 
Oh goodness. They want to get in. They want to get in. What's that? Yeah, I think they want to go in. Probably. You're not going to try to go over there again? No. How, uh, this kind of, who's going to mow this roughness? Well, we'll smooth it out. Goodness. I ain't driving over I would here. carry a bag, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not, I, no. I'd like to get 20 more bags to bring down here, but I don't know if I'll be able to get them down here. You girls want to come out? Hope don't care, nope. She's like, what's everybody's fuss? I'm over here eating hay. How's that feel on your feet there, buttercup? Is that nice? Oh, I didn't think we would get, we were gonna sink that deep over here. This earthworm, Blurgh. so big. There's a whole bunch over here in this mud. Well, they got a little walkway to get back and forth to the feeder now. I hope. Buttercup. As soon as you break through the grass roots, it just is all over with, and then it just turns to mush. Well, it's been a few hours since we put the stone down. It's rained quite a bit since. I'm curious to see if it's made a difference or not. Afternoon, you look a little wet. I think it's dried up a little bit. What do you think, Willow? <laughs> Not liking the rain? You need more water? Yep. What are you doing, Hope? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, Willow, huh? You getting ready to have babies soon? 
shortly, huh? You're gonna have to move, mister. You're gonna go for a ride, you ready? Hold on. Quick! Gotta get down. Quick, get down. I gotta open the gate. You gotta move. <laughs> You're gonna go for a ride, Figaro. Gotta get down. You gotta stay on there. <laughs> Where are you going? You got some good balance. Oh, ready? There you go. You're good. I wish I had balance like that. Girls are all wet. I always wonder what that cat's thinking. What was up with that? Crow moose. You getting laryngitis? Oh, moose. Come on, guys, this way. Float out. Come on. This way. Come on. I was just checking the weather app and we're supposed to get down to 26 degrees tonight. <sighs> I think we better make a fire. And here I was thinking we were all done with the wood stove this season. <laughs> I guess not. One more night of running it. Before I forget again, the winners were randomly picked for the natural chicken keeping book that Amy Fuel wrote. I replied back to your comments on that video. The winners are John Heffernecker and Tim Goodwin. If I said your names wrong, I'm sorry. But if you can email me back at info at Lumna Acres, I'll get all your information so we can get the books mailed out to you. If I don't hear back to you, back from you by this Friday, which is going to be May, let's see, it's already May. Friday will be May the 3rd. I'm going to pick other winners, so email me back as soon as you can. This has been some of the worst mud season I've seen here that I can remember. I know mud season we've seen since we've been in this location and one of the worst mud seasons I've seen since we've been up or I've been up here in northern New Hampshire. I'm hoping that it dries out soon, but man, 
that's one thing you cannot change. You cannot change the weather. You can, I don't want to say fight Mother Nature, but you can, you'll have to figure ways out to overcome some of the obstacles she hands us. And sometimes that's difficult, but we got to keep a smile on our face and think outside of the box and think about how we can do it, but not just do it to get it done. Do it to better it for next year or the following year. We're going to get some gravel in the goat yard like we did. Hopefully I can get another load or two out there. And then come this summer, I'm going to change up that little goat area so we don't have the same problem next year. Who knows, maybe with a different winter we wouldn't have that issue, but we are. So we're going to adapt and overcome. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. Keep your head up. Tomorrow is always another day, another chance for a great opportunity. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.